Hello, everyone. Good morning. Maybe before we open for questions, I also wanted to take a moment. You have already mentioned it. This is the land because, sadly, Philippe is leaving. And I think it has, again, been an example of what an engaged and specific enough. But you know that Maximilian Kra, the leading candidate of the AfD in Germany, has already been under allegations from this Russiagate story. So um, having taken money in order to spread propaganda. This is uh, already what we pushed for to be investigated by the European Parliament. Now we have this new development. And you you are absolutely right. This is about espionage uh, for China, and this is relating to uh, a, 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 an accredited parliamentary assistant, so also a person that has access to this parliament, uh, that potentially can give information from parliamentary proceedings related, because we see that autocratic regimes are trying to influence policy making, using the European Parliament for this, and potentially also trying to uh, influence uh, the European elections. And this is why we want these two investigations to be linked, especially when it comes to the person of Maximilian Kra, who is a sitting member of this parliament. But we do have the power, as we have seen in cases beforehand, that, for example, when MEPs breach the code, code of conduct, to sanction them. And we want to see this kind of investigation to be sped up now and is that proper English, to be speeded up, um, to be sped up um, in order to already have a first assessment before the elections because we know that these kind of investigations can sometimes take a, lo a very long time 